Let's talk today about a very common human behavior, making excuses. We all do it from time to time. But what exactly is an excuse? It's quite different from a reason, though. The two are often confused. A reason is based on unavoidable circumstances. An excuse, on the other hand, is often a shield we put up to avoid facing a challenging situation. It's a subtle sabotage of our own potential. You see, when we offer an excuse, what we're really doing is articulating a lack of strategy, resource, or resolve. We might say, I don't have the time, when what we mean is, I haven't made this a priority. We say it's too difficult, instead of, I need help to overcome this challenge. These are the excuses we find in both our personal and professional lives. And while they might provide temporary relief, they don't solve the problem or bring us any closer to our goals. Let me ask you, how often have you heard or even used excuses like, I'm too tired, or now's not the right time? In our careers, how often do excuses come up when opportunities for advancement or innovation present themselves? I'm not experienced enough, or I'm just waiting for the perfect moment. But here's the secret I want you to consider. There is no perfect moment, only the moments you seize. Now, let's delve a little deeper. Why do we make these excuses? Psychologically, excuses are a defense mechanism. They protect us from the anxiety of potential failure or the hard work required to succeed. Socially, they're often used to garner sympathy or to deflect judgment from those around us. It's easier to say my team isn't supportive than to admit I need to develop better leadership skills. These psychological and social Pressures build invisible walls around us. They keep us from stepping out of our comfort zones and reaching for more. It's worth asking ourselves, what excuses have I allowed to hold me back? Think about it for a moment. Reflect on your life, your career. Where could you be today if you hadn't let those excuses steer your journey? But understanding why we make excuses isn't enough. We need to challenge them. We need to push back against these comfortable lies we tell ourselves. It begins by recognizing these patterns and then setting our minds to change them. When we stop making excuses, we start making progress. We start turning our potential into actual. So how do we overcome this tendency? It starts with self-awareness. Recognize the excuses you frequently use. Understand the fear or lack of preparation they mask. Then address those underlying issues directly. Build strategies that focus on solutions, not problems. Create an environment both internally and externally that encourages accountability rather than excuses. The next time you catch yourself crafting an excuse, pause and ask, is this really true? What can I do differently right now to change this narrative? Replace excuses with actions. For example, if you find yourself saying, I don't have time. Try saying, I will schedule time for this. It's a small shift in language, but it can lead to a significant shift in mindset. Remember, every excuse you overcome is a step towards the person you can become. Every time you replace an excuse with a proactive decision, you build strength not just in your character but in your life's trajectory. Let go You're of your excuses. Grab hold of your aspirations with both hands. Embrace the discomfort of growth because on the other side of your excuses is the person you are meant to be. And that person has no limits. Ladies and gentlemen, the journey to overcoming excuses is not an easy one. It requires honesty, courage, and relentless determination. But I believe in you. You have the power to change, to drop the excuses, and push forward towards a life of fulfillment. What will you choose today? Will you let another excuse hold you back? Or will you take that first bold step towards your true potential? We turn our focus to a profound question. What makes a winner? Is it simply having talent? Or is there more to the story? When we look closely, we see that true winners embody perseverance, dedication, and integrity. These aren't just attributes. They are the very core of their being, the bedrock upon which they build their success. Consider perseverance, the steadfastness in doing something despite difficulty or delay in achieving success. It's not about never facing challenges. Rather, it's about facing those challenges head on and not giving in to despair or frosty. Winners understand that the road to achievement is long and they are prepared to walk it no matter how. Dedication is another crucial trait. This is the wholehearted devotion to a cause, a dream, or a goal. It's not merely about working hard when the mood strikes or when circumstances are favorable. Dedication is about consistent effort, day in and day out, regardless of the ups and downs. It's about committing to a vision and pushing forward relentlessly. And then there's integrity, the quality of being honest and having strong moral principles. It's about making the right choice, even when it's not the easiest choice. 
Integrity is what keeps winners on a righteous path. Ensuring their success is not just about what they achieve, but how they achieve it. Let me share with you a story about someone who embodies all these traits. Katherine Johnson, the mathematician whose calculations of orbital mechanics were critical to the success of the first U.S. manned space flights. Johnson faced immense challenges, not just in the complexity of her work, but in the societal and racial barriers of her time. Yet, her dedication, her integrity, and her perseverance were unwavering. She worked tirelessly, ensuring her calculations were precise and her methods were beyond reproach. She didn't make excuses. She made history. Now, consider how winners handle setbacks and failures. They do not see these as insurmountable barriers, but as lessons. They understand that failure is often the precursor to success. They use it to learn, to grow, and to refine their strategies. They don't let failure define them. They let it teach them. Perhaps some of you have witnessed such resilience in action. Think of a time when someone around you faced a set, a colleague, a friend, or even a public figure. What did they do? Did they give up or did they find a way to overcome it? Reflect on that moment. What did you learn from observing their response? When faced with a setback, what is your immediate reaction? Do you start looking for excuses or do you start looking for solutions? Winners find solutions. They adapt and over. They don't complain about the win. They adjust their sales. In this room, I see potential winners. I see people with a capacity for great perseverance, dedication, and integrity. But as we've discussed, possessing these traits and actively cultivating them are two different things. It requires not just recognition, but action. I challenge each of you today. Begin cultivating these traits within yourself. Embrace perseverance. Don't be discouraged by the time it takes to achieve your goals. Embody dedication. Commit fully to your aspirations, even when the path is fraught with challenge. Uphold integrity. Make choices that reflect your highest values, not just your immediate desire. Remember, being a winner isn't just about reaching a destination. It's about how you journey toward it. It's about the mindset you cultivate, the values you uphold, and the resilience you demonstrate along the way. So as we continue on our paths, let's ask ourselves, are we ready to live like winners? Are we prepared to embody these traits? Not just when it's convenient, but every single day. Your actions, your commitment, and your honesty to yourself will answer that question. I want to discuss a powerful concept that can transform your life. The power of responsibility. Taking responsibility for your actions is a fundamental key to success and personal growth. It's about owning your choices, your mistakes, and your success. When you truly embrace responsibility, you take control of your life's narrative. You stop seeing yourself as a passive participant and start shaping your own destiny. This isn't just about admitting when you're wrong. It's about understanding that your decisions and actions have power. They influence not just your own life, but also those around you. Now consider the relationship between personal responsibility and success. Successful people don't blame others or circumstances for their failures. They use setbacks as learning opportunities. They ask themselves, what can I learn from this? Rather than saying, why did this happen to me? This mindset is not only about accepting faults. It's about proactive growth. It's about asking, how can I ensure this doesn't happen again? Or, or how can I turn this setback into an advantage? Embracing responsibility empowers you. It liberates you from feeling victimized by life and gives you the courage to face challenges head on. This empowerment leads to growth both personally and professionally. It involves an honest evaluation of your actions, which fosters self-improvement. And in Let me share with you some inspiring stories of individuals who have changed their lives by taking responsibility. Consider the story of John, a young man who dropped out of college due to financial difficulties. Instead of blaming his circumstances, he took responsibility for his future. He learned coding through online courses, sought mentorship, and eventually launched a successful tech startup. John's journey wasn't easy, but his willingness to take charge of his situation propelled him forward. Then there's Maria who struggled with health issues caused by poor lifestyle choices. By accepting responsibility for her health, she made drastic changes to her diet and exercise routine. Not only did she improve her health, but she also started a community group to help others facing similar challenges. Muria's story is a testament to how taking responsibility can lead to personal transformation and community impact. These stories exemplify the transformative power of taking responsibility, 
But let me ask you this. How often do you take full responsibility for your actions? Do you find yourself making excuses or do you face challenges with resolve and a readiness to learn? It's easy to shirk responsibility and blame external factors for our shortcomings or failures. But true growth and success come from looking inward and choosing to be responsible. This choice involves recognizing where we can improve and taking steps to do so. Taking responsibility is not just about dealing with the consequences of your actions. It's also about proactive engagement with your goals and dreams. It's deciding to be the architect of your life rather than leaving your fate in the hands of others or chance. Now imagine the possibilities if each of us here today decided to take full responsibility for our lives. Imagine the innovations, the solutions, the collaborations that could arise. When you start taking responsibility, you inspire others to do the same. It creates a ripple effect that can change families, communities, and even the world. So I challenge you to embrace responsibility. Look at your life and your choices. Are there areas where you've been making excuses? Are there setbacks you could learn from? Take charge of those areas. Make a commitment today to be responsible for your future. The journey of responsibility is not always easy, but it is always rewarding. It brings clarity, growth, and success. It empowers you to reach your fullest potential. So take that step today. Be responsible. Be resilient. Be ready to. We embark on a crucial aspect of personal development, overcoming the excuse mindset. Excuses are easy. They're the low-hanging fruit of the decision-making tree, but they don't lead us to growth or success. Instead, they keep us stagnant. Let's dive into how we can shift from making excuses to taking proactive steps towards our goals. The first step in overcoming an excuse mindset is to recognize it. Awareness is key. Start by listening to your language. What do you say when faced with a challenge or opportunity? Do you find yourself saying, I can't because, or it's not my fault because these phrases are often signs of an excuse mindset. Recognize them for what they are, barriers to your success. Once you've recognized these patterns, challenge them. This involves a direct confrontation with your excuses. Ask yourself, is this truly stopping me or is it just more comfortable to think so? Often, you'll find that barriers are not as insurmountable as they seem. They're merely convenient reasons to avoid effort or risk. Now, let's talk about cultivating a more positive and proactive mindset. This begins with the language we use. Instead of saying, I can't, start saying, I will find a way. Language shapes perception. Perception shapes behavior. Behavior shapes reality. By shifting your language, you're not just changing the way you talk, you're changing the way you think and ultimately the way you act. Another effective technique is visualization. Imagine completing the task successfully. What does it look like? How does it feel? Visualization is a powerful tool that athletes and high achievers use to prepare themselves mentally for success. When you visualize the outcome you desire, you're more likely to act in ways that align with making it a reality. Cultivating habits that support accountability and success is next. Habits form the foundation of our daily lives. To build habits that steer us away from excuses, we must start small. If your goal is to exercise more, start with just five minutes. Of Once that becomes a habit, increase the time gradually. The key is consistency. Consistent action builds habits. Habits build character and character builds success. Let's now address some common scenarios with practical strategies to overcome. I don't have time. This is one of the most common excuses strategy. Start by auditing how you spend your day. Look for time sinks, unproductive periods like excessive social media, browsing or watching TV. Reallocate some of this time to your goals. Even 20 minutes a day can make a significant difference. I'm not good enough yet. Strategy. Adopt a growth mindset. Understand that skills are developed through effort and persistence, not in a talent. Begin with what you know and be open to learning. Every expert was once a beginner. What if I fail? Strategy. Reframe failure. See it not as a setback, but as a stepping stone. Each failure is a lesson in disguise, an opportunity to learn and grow. Instead of fearing failure, fear not trying at all. Now, let me ask you, what excuses have been holding you back? And what will you do differently starting today? Let's make a commitment together. Let's choose to no longer let excuses define us. Instead, let's be defined by our actions, our resilience, and our capacity to turn challenges into achievement. Remember, 
Every moment is an opportunity to write a new story for your life. A story of success, of growth, and of overcoming. The only thing standing between you and your goals is the excuses you're willing to let go of. We delve into a vital aspect of achieving our dreams, maintaining momentum in the face of adversity. We all face challenges and setbacks. It's not the presence of these obstacles that defines us, but how we respond to them. Let's explore how we can keep moving forward, even when the going gets tough. One of the first steps in maintaining momentum is to stay motivated. Motivation can sometimes feel like it's in short supply, especially when progress is slow or obstacles seem insurmountable. But remember, motivation is not just a feeling. It's a choice. It is a decision to keep pushing forward. Regardless of how you feel, this is where setting clear, achievable goals comes into Goals give us direction and a benchmark for measuring progress. They should be specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time-bound. What many refer to as SMART goals. By setting these goals, you create a roadmap for your journey. Each small goal achieved is a step in the right direction, keeping your motivation high. When progress seems slow, remind yourself of why you started. Look back at what you have already achieved and let that fuel your drive forward. How many of you have felt overwhelmed by a goal? because it seemed too big. Now, think about breaking that goal down into smaller, more manageable pieces. Doesn't that feel less daunting? This is how you maintain momentum, by celebrating small victories along the way. These victories add up, and before you know it, you've made significant progress. Another crucial element in sustaining momentum is the role of support systems and mentorship. No one achieves anything alone. We all need support people who believe in us, cheer us on, and can offer guidance. A mentor can be particularly influential. They can provide advice based on their experiences, encourage you when you falter, and push you to grow beyond what you thought was possible. Who in your life has been a mentor or significant support? Reflect on how they've helped you navigate challenges. For those of you who haven't sought out a mentor, what's holding you back? Often, we hesitate to reach out for help because we see it as a sign of weakness. But in reality, acknowledging the need for guidance is a strength not a weakness. It's a step toward growth. Engagement with those around. You can also keep your spirits high. Join groups, participate in discussions, and connect with others who share your goals. Community can be a powerful motivator, especially when the road gets tough. Shared experiences remind us that we are not alone in our struggles. Now let's engage in a bit of reflection. Think about a time when you faced a challenge that seemed insurmountable. How did you overcome it? What resources did you draw upon? Who supported you? And how did you keep pushing forward despite the odds? Your stories are powerful, not just for you, but for others who may be facing similar challenges. In these moments of adversity, remember the importance of adaptability. Be willing to adjust your plans as needed. Life is unpredictable, and flexibility can be your greatest asset. When faced with a roadblock, instead of giving up, ask yourself, how can I work around this? There's always a way forward if you're willing to look for it and work for it. Maintaining momentum isn't just about pushing through the hard times. It's about understanding that every challenge is an opportunity for growth. It's about not losing sight of your goals and remembering that every step forward, no matter how small, is progress. It's about drawing strength from those who support you and giving back that strength in turn. As we continue on our paths, let's commit to keeping the momentum. Let's choose to rise above the challenges and continue our pursuit of success. Let's not just go through adversity, but grow through it. Thank you for your resilience, your commitment, and your unwavering spirit. Keep pushing, keep striving, and above all, keep believing in the journey and in yourselves. As we come to the close of our time together, let's reflect on the journey we've embarked upon today. We've uncovered the deep-seated roots of excuses, recognized the indomitable power of responsibility explored how winners maintain their course through adversity and discussed strategies to break free from the excuse mindset. Each of these areas forms a cornerstone upon which you can build a more accountable, resilient, and successful life. We began today by identifying the nature of excuses, those often subtle, yet destructive barriers we put up that prevent us from achieving our fullest potential. We learned that excuses are not reasons, they are avoidances. They hold us back from facing our challenges head on and from embracing our responsibilities. Then we delved into the essence of personal responsibility. We discussed how taking charge of our actions, our decisions, and our lives sets the foundation for true success. 
We saw through examples that when individuals embrace responsibility, they empower themselves to achieve great things. They transform not only their own lives, but also impact those around them positively. We also talked about the characteristics of winners. Those who persevere, stay dedicated, and uphold integrity, even when faced with setbacks. We learned that winners don't make excuses. They make adjustments. They don't see obstacles. They see opportunities. Furthermore, we explored practical strategies to help us shift away from an excuse mindset to one of proactive action. We discussed setting achievable goals, using positive language, visualizing success, and cultivating supportive relationships, all tools that can propel us forward on our journey. Now, as we prepare to part ways, I want to leave you with a final thought and a challenge. Think about the areas in your life where you've allowed excuses to hold sway. Reflect on how those excuses have shaped your path, your relationships, and your self-perception. Starting today, eliminate excuses from your life. Make a commitment to yourself and to your future to act on the lessons we've discussed. Whether it's a small step toward a personal goal or a giant leap in your professional life, let no excuse stand in your way. I urge you to take responsibility for your destiny. Embrace the power you have to change, to grow, and to achieve. Let today be the last day you say, I can't or I won't, and let tomorrow be the first day you say, I can't. And now, I ask you one final question. A question I want you to carry with you as you leave here today. What will you do tomorrow to ensure you're not letting excuses stand in your way? Ladies and gentlemen, the path before you is clear. It's a path of action, of determination, of responsibility. It's a path that eschews excuses and embraces possibility. Walk it with your head held high, your heart open, and your spirit willing to embrace whatever comes your way. Thank you for your attention, your energy, and your commitment to growth. Remember, every day is a new opportunity to move closer to your dreams. Don't wait for the perfect moment. Make the moment perfect. Go out there, live responsibly, and make your mark on the world. Let's take a moment and think about a leader who, without the need for grand titles or authoritative power, changed the face of their field entirely. This leader, through sheer will, innovative thinking, and an unshakable belief in the power of collective effort, transform not just an industry, but the lives of countless individuals within it. Their legacy isn't marked by the decisions they made alone, but by the inspiration they sparked in others to lead, to innovate, and to aspire for greatness. You see, leadership is an intriguing concept. It's far more than a title that sits on a business card or a position that holds sway within the corridors of power. Leadership is about action. It's about influence. It's the ability to see beyond the horizon to identify not just what is, but what could be, and then to inspire others towards that vision. It's about igniting a spark within another's, guiding them not with a heavy hand, but with a light touch that encourages them to discover their path to greatness. Today, we're here not just to talk about leadership as a theoretical concept, but to embark on a very personal journey, a journey that aims to unlock the leader within each of us, whether in our personal lives, in our communities, or within the vast expanse of our professional endeavors, each one of us has the potential to lead, to influence, and to inspire change. But what does it mean to be that leader? Is it about making all the decisions, or is it something more? True leadership is about fostering an environment where ideas can flourish, where team members feel valued and heard, and where the vision becomes a shared journey rather than a solitary quest. As we delve into the essence of leadership today, I want you to think about the leaders who have influenced you. What was it about them that inspired you? Was it their confidence, their vision, or perhaps their unwavering belief in your potential? Leadership is not a gut size fits all formula. It's a personal journey that requires us to be authentic, to be reflective, and most importantly, to be courageous. Sustain's goal today is not just to explore the concept of leader, but to awaken the leader that resides within each of us. To understand that leadership is not bestowed, but cultivated through our actions, our decisions, and the way we interact with the world around us. Let us step forward with the knowledge that each of us has the potential to make a difference, to lead with integrity, and to inspire a legacy of positive change. In the realm of leadership, there exists a tapestry of misconceptions that often obscure its true essence. Many equate leadership with holding a position of power with the ability to exert authority over others.
But let's ponder this for a moment. Is leadership truly confined to the quarters of power as a power and titles? Or is it something more expansive, something more profound? True leadership transcends the traditional boundaries of authority and dominance. It's not about the title you hold, but the influence you wield. It's about the actions you take, not the position you occupy. Leadership is about guiding others to achieve a common goal, not through coercion, but through inspiration and motivation. It's about lighting a path for others to follow, not by leading them, but by walking alongside them. So let's delve deeper into the core qualities that define an effective leader. Integrity stands paramount among these qualities. It's the foundation upon which trust is built, allowing leaders to guide with authenticity and earn the respect of their followers. Accountability follows closely. A quality that ensures a leader not only takes responsibility for their actions, but also empowers their team to own their contributions. Vision, another critical attribute, allows a leader to see beyond the immediate horizon, to en envisage what could be and inspire others towards that future. But vision without empathy is like a ship without a rudder. Empathy enables a leader to connect on a human level, to understand the dreams, aspirations, and challenges of those they lead. It's this understanding that allows a leader to inspire and motivate to lift others up and help them see the potential within themselves. Now, why does leadership matter? The impact of effective leadership extends far beyond the immediate team or organization. It has the power to transform entire communities. Good leadership creates an environment where creativity flourishes, where individuals feel valued and empowered to contribute their best work. It fosters a culture of innovation, collaboration, and resilience. But the influence of a great leader is perhaps most profoundly felt in the legacy they leave behind. A legacy of empowered individuals who go on to inspire and lead in their own right. This ripple effect can transform industries, communities, and indeed the very fabric of society. As we gather here today, let's reflect on the ancients of leadership. It's not about wielding power over others, but about empowering those around you. It's about leading with integrity, accountability, vision, and most importantly, it's about understanding the profound impact that effective leadership can have on the world around us. So, as we continue on our journey, let's ask ourselves, how can we embody these qualities in our own lives? How can we inspire and motivate those around us? And how can we leave a lasting legacy through our leadership these are the questions that will guide us as we explore the true essence of leadership together. In our journey through the landscape of leadership, a pivotal realization stands at the forefront. The cultivation of leadership skills is not merely an endeavor, but a profound journey of personal growth and discovery. This journey begins with the cornerstone of self-awareness. Imagine standing at a crossroads, armed with a deep understanding of not only where you excel, but also where you face challenges. This self-awareness is crucial, for it lays the groundwork upon which we can build and refine our leadership abilities. Consider for a moment the art of communication. It's an art where words are the paint and our intentions serve as the canvas. Effective communication goes beyond merely conveying ideas. It involves active listening, understanding, and respect. It's about creating a dialogue, a two-way street where ideas flow freely, fostering an environment of trust and mutual respect. Now, let's delve into the realms of influence and inspiration. The ability to inspire others to reach beyond their perceived limitations is a hallmark of true leadership. It's about igniting a spark within someone, helping them see a vision for what could be, and encouraging them to take the steps necessary to realize that vision. But how does one inspire? It begins with belief, belief in the potential of others, belief in the mission, and most importantly, belief in the collective power to achieve the extraordinary. Leadership also demands a delicate balance in decision-making, a balance between being decisive and being adaptable. In the face of uncertainty, a leader must have the courage to make decisions, to set a course of action. Yet true leadership also requires the humility to pivot, to adapt when the situation changes or when new information comes to light. It's about finding that equilibrium between conviction and flexibility, ensuring that our decisions are both bold and considerate of the evolving landscape. At this juncture, you might wonder, 
How do we cultivate these skills? It begins with a commitment, a commitment to continuous learning and growth. It involves seeking out opportunities to challenge ourselves, to step outside our comfort zones, and to learn from both our successes and our failures. But perhaps most importantly, it requires us to lead by example, to embody the values and principles we wish to see in others, to approach each day with a sense of purpose, a dedication to making a positive impact, and a commitment to the journey of leadership itself. So as we stand here today, let's reflect on our own leadership journey. Are we willing to embrace the challenges and opportunities that come with cultivating our leadership skills? Are we prepared to lead with integrity, to communicate with empathy, to inspire with conviction, and to make decisions with both courage and flexibility? The journey of leadership is one of endless learning and growth. It's a journey that asks us to be the best versions of ourselves, to uplift those around us, and to leave a lasting impact on the world. So, let us step forward with confidence, with a commitment to cultivating our leadership skills, and with the determination to make a difference in the lives of those we lead. In the grand tapestry of leadership, amidst the vibrant threads of success and triumph, there lie the inevitable shades of challenge and failure. It's a universal truth that every leader, no matter how skilled or experienced, will face setbacks, yet it is in the heart of these challenges that the true essence of leadership is revealed and refined. Let's talk about failure, not as the end of the road, but as a stepping stone on the path to success. How often have we faced obstacles that seemed insurmountable, mistakes that felt unforgivable, or decisions that led to unintended consequences? It's natural to feel disheartened, yet it's in these moments that leadership is truly tested. Mm -hmm. Changing our perspective on failure from a mark of defeat to a catalyst for growth allows us to embrace each setback as an opportunity to learn, to grow, and to emerge stronger. Remember, the greatest achievements often arise from the ashes of our greatest disappointments. Moving forward, consider the delicate RR conflict resolution. Disputes and disagreements are inevitable in any collective endeavor, yet how we navigate these waters can either fracture the team or strengthen our collective resolve. The key lies in fostering an environment where open communication is encouraged, where differing viewpoints are respected, and where conflicts are addressed promptly and fairly. It's about finding common ground, compromising when necessary, and always keeping the greater goal in sight. Through effective conflict resolution, we not only maintain harmony, but also build a foundation of trust and mutual respect that can weather any storm. And then there's, there's the challenge of sustaining motivation, both our own and that of our team. Stick in a marathon of leadership. Maintaining the initial spark of enthusiasm and drive over the long haul can be daunting. How do we keep ourselves and our team motivated amidst the monotony of routine, the pressure of deadlines, and the weight of expectations? The answer lies in setting clear, achievable goals, celebrating the small victories along the way, and never losing sight of the bigger picture. So it's about reminding ourselves and our team of the why behind our work, the purpose that drives us, and the difference we're striving to make by fostering a culture of recognition where each individual's contributions are acknowledged and valued. We can keep the flames of motivation burning bright. In confronting these challenges, it's crucial to remember that leadership is not a journey we embark upon alone. It's a shared journey, a collective endeavor that thrives on collaboration, mutual support, and a shared vision. As leaders, our role is not to have all the answers, but to ask the right questions, to guide, to inspire, and to empower those around us to reach their fullest potential. So, as we navigate the challenges of leadership, let us do so with resilience, with empathy, and with an unwavering commitment to our personal growth and the growth of those we lead. Let us embrace failure as a teacher, conflict as an opportunity for strengthening our bonds, and the challenge of sustaining motivation as a catalyst for creating a culture of continuous improvement and enduring success. In this journey of leadership, let's lead not from a place of authority, but from a place of humility and service. Let us be leaders who inspire not by the loftiness of our titles, but by the depth of our commitment to making a positive impact in the lives of others. For in the end, it is through overcoming these challenges that we truly discover the power and potential of our leadership
in the unfolding story of leadership, where every chapter reveals deeper insights and challenges. There comes a pivotal moment, a moment where the narrative shifts from understanding what leadership is to embodying what it means to be a leader. This journey, marked by continuous growth and learning, is both profound and practical. Consider for a moment the power setting an example. In the realm of leadership, actions do indeed speak louder than words. The choices we make, the behaviors we exhibit, and the standards we set form the bedrock of our credibility and influence. As leaders, every action we take sends a message, crafting a living example for others to follow. It's not merely about telling others what to do. It's about showing them through our own commitment to excellence, integrity, and respect. By walking our talk, we inspire those around us to rise to their own potential. But how does one continually set the right example? The answer lies in the commitment to continuous learning. The landscape of leadership is ever evolving and staying open to new ideas, embracing change, and seeking out opportunities for self-improvement are essential. It's about being a student of life, recognizing that there's always something new to learn, a fresh perspective to consider, or a skill to develop. This mindset not only enriches our own journey, but also enhances our ability to lead effectively, adapt to change, and inspire innovation. Building relationships stands as another cornerstone in the foundation of effective leadership. The strength of a leader is often measured by the strength of the relationships they foster. It's through these connections that trust is built, collaboration is enhanced, and teams are united. But building strong relationships requires more than just surface level interactions. It demands genuine interest, empathy, and a commitment to understanding the aspirations and challenges of those we lead. By investing in relationships, we create a culture of mutual respect and support where every team member feels valued and understood. Feedback and adaptation form the final piece of this practical puzzle. The role of feedback in personal growth and leadership development cannot be overstated. It's through feedback that we gain insight into our performance, our impact on others, and areas where we can improve. But receiving feedback is only half the equation. The true test of leadership lies in our ability to adapt based on this feedback. It requires humility to accept constructive criticism, wisdom to discern which feedback to act upon, and courage to make the necessary changes. This cycle of feedback and adaptation is essential for continuous improvement and underscores the dynamic nature of leadership. So, as we stand at the crossroads of aspiration and action, let us reflect on these practical steps towards becoming better leaders. Let us commit to setting the example through our actions, to embracing continuous learning as a lifelong journey, to building strong and meaningful relationships, and to engaging in the cycle of feedback and adaptation. In doing so, we embark on a path not just of personal growth, but of collective achievement, a path where leadership is not just about guiding others, but about inspiring a shared vision of success. Let us lead with purpose. With passion and with a profound commitment to the principles that underpin effective leadership. For in the end, it is these practical steps taken day by day that weave the tapestry of true leadership. As we cast our gaze toward the horizon, the future of leadership unfolds before us, painted against the backdrop of rapid technological advancements, shifting societal values, and an ever evolving global economy. This landscape, vibrant and dynamic, challenges us to rethink the essence of leadership and the roles we play within it. Let's pause and consider the emerging trends that are shaping the future of leadership. Technology, with its relentless pace, is not just a tool, but a catalyst that is transforming how we lead, connect, and inspire. It's forging new pathways for communication, collaboration, and innovation, enabling leaders to reach across geographical and cultural boundaries like never before. Yet with these advancements comes the challenge of maintaining the human connection, of ensuring that amidst the digital threads that connect us, the personal, empathetic touch of leadership remains strong. But how do we as leaders navigate this rapidly changing world? How do we stay relevant, agile, and resilient in the face of continuous change? The key lies in our ability to adapt, to remain lifelong learners who are not just reactive, but proactive in embracing new ideas, technologies, and methodologies. Staying relevant as a leader means fostering a mindset of curiosity and openness 
being willing to question the status quo and continuously seeking out opportunities for growth and development. And as we look to the future, we must also reflect on the legacy we wish to leave behind. The impact of our leadership extends far beyond the immediate results we achieve. It echoes in the lives of those we touch, in the cultures we help shape, and in the visions we inspire. Leaving a positive legacy is about more than just the accomplishments we rack up. It's about the difference we make in the world, the paths we pave for future generations, and the light we shine on the possibilities that lie ahead. So, as we stand at this juncture, looking forward to the future of leadership, let us ask ourselves, what kind of leaders do we want to be? How can we harness the power of technology to enhance our leadership, not diminish it? How can we remain adaptable and resilient, ready to embrace the winds of change? And most importantly, how can we ensure that the legacy we leave is one of positive impact, a legacy that inspires, empowers, and uplifts those who follow? The journey of leadership is an ongoing voyage, one that requires us to navigate the uncharted waters of the future with courage, vision, and a steadfast commitment to our values. As we move forward, let us do so with the knowledge that our actions today will shape the world of tomorrow. Let us lead with purpose, with empathy, and with an unwavering focus on the greater good. For in the end, the future of leadership is not just about the challenges we face. It's about the opportunities we create, the lives we enrich, and the legacy we leave behind as we stand at the threshold of tomorrow, reflecting on the journey we've embarked upon today, let's take a moment to gather the threads of wisdom we've woven together. Leadership, as we've explored, is not confined by titles or positions, but is defined by actions and influence. It's about setting an example through our deeds, embracing continuous learning, forging strong relationships, and being receptive to feedback and adaptable to change. We've delved into the challenges that leadership entails from transforming our perspective on failure to navigating conflicts and sustaining motivation over time. We've peered into the future, recognizing the evolving landscape of leadership in the face of technological advancements, societal shifts, and global economic changes. And we've pondered the legacy we aspire to leave, a legacy that transcends our achievements to touch the lives of others positively. Now, as we draw this conversation to a close, I urge you to take personal responsibility for your growth as a leader. The insights and reflections shared today are but signposts on a much larger journey, a journey that each of you must undertake with conviction and purpose. Let this not be the end, but a beginning, a beginning of a deeper exploration into your potential as a leader of a commitment to embody the principles of leadership in your daily lives. I challenge you to apply the lessons learned, to set the example for others, to follow, to remain curious and open to learning, to build meaningful connections, and to be agile in the face of change. But most importantly, I invite you to consider the impact you wish to have on the world around you. What will your legacy be? How will you inspire and empower those around you to achieve their highest potential? The path of leadership is one of continuous growth, challenge, and opportunity. It requires courage, resilience, and an unwavering commitment to making a difference. So I urge you to step forward from this moment with a renewed sense of purpose. Embrace the mantle of leadership, not just in title, but in action. Lead with integrity, lead with compassion, and lead with the vision of creating a better future for all. Your leadership journey is yours to shape. Let it be a journey marked by growth, impact, and the relentless pursuit of excellence. Let's move forward together with the courage to lead and the conviction to make a positive difference in the world.